YouTube land tag Anders here doing another action figure review and today is something I picked up well while I was on holidays and it is the second figure and I believe I mentioned it in my super quick video review of the Gist Yankee so which was this guy if you haven't watched the video go back and watch it it is a short and sweet sweet video and I got a lot of stuff wrong in it considering I was saying that the Gith Yankee are mummies, they look like mummies. The way he's suspected is he looks like mummies. But they're actually, I was looking into them a bit more. And they're basically a race of psionic. Uh, they had, they were ruled over by the, was it Iliad? Is that the crowd? The guys that looked like um, the Cthulhu craze. And uh, they were basically slaves and then they rebelled and they became their own race. There was a actually big lore for Githyanki, which I <laughs> hadn't really looked into too much. Normally, whenever we play D&D, our DM would not allow psionic stuff in the campaign. So we never really delved much into the Underdark in the Githyanki and all their those kind of crowds. But today's one is a different figure altogether. He is... The Dungeons and Dragons formidable fighter. And the cool thing about this guy is if you can see, obviously you can see from the packaging. So he is a reaction figure, which I'm not a big fan of to be honest. But I did pick him up because I kind of liked the uh, it's kind of hard to see D, D style figures in three and two quarter inch unless you go for the what are they called? Not Mythic Legions, the hacks the vitruvian hacks figures and kind of make your own figure but ones that are based on characters or based directly from dungeons and dragons and officially licensed are kind of far and few between there was a series of figures back in the day by lgn and before i finish on the actually do i'll finish the packaging first so the packaging is the classic cover box of the original i believe the original or it could be one of the I think it might have been advanced Dungeons and Dragons uh, box set. So you have a fighter facing off against a ferocious red dragon who is guarding his gold horde. And if I flip around the back of the box, you see that same artwork in a more traditional art style as opposed to uh, in kind of more comic book art style than the kind of more painting art style that was on the cover of the book. Uh, the book cover looked more like this than the, the comic book style on the back. And then if I flip around the back of the box, it is the same one as the previous. So this is the Gith Yankee, or Gith Yankee one. And if I flip around the back of the box, you can see it's the same. The only addition is they added in one extra, uh, actually two extra figures. So the two extra figures that they added is... The sacred statue with the brazier and jeweled eye, which is a kind of a demonic statue looking thing. And then this guy, which is the formidable fighter with long sword and shield. So I believe, I'm not sure if these are done in waves or if these were just released. Um, because like if I go by wave one, there's only two three figures. And then wave two seems to be only two figures. It, I'm not sure how they... Re release these because I wasn't even aware these were uh, a thing until I saw them on a shelf in a speciality store in Boston, uh, not Boston, over in Falmouth in Massachusetts. So I did pick them up there. So before I get on to the figure, because he's fairly simple and basic, we'll bring in another fairly simple and basic figure which I have to hand, which is a figure that should technically be in the same scale he is a bit a little bit on the taller side but there is war duke uh this is the battlematic version of war duke so he has slashing action so you can smack and slash things he should have a shield um i believe actually, i think the shield might have been the arm that has there that had the it was like a shield bash more than a sword slash but he he can hold his sword and smack things but um this guy is fairly basic. If I bring in the tape measure, he is just around three and a quarter inch as opposed to four inch where I think the, believe these guys are like four because the scaling was a bit all over the place for the LGN line. Like you had the dwarf guy that was 
like that high and then you had the the orc half orc fighter which looked like a halfling there was an elf that looked tiny so the scaling for these aren't exactly the best but they look pretty cool and you can see they kind of share a similar aesthetic they're very similar in looks the only thing is this has a little bit more articulation than this poor guy Whoop. but he isn't too bad so he comes with two accessories as described on the box it comes with this nice sword which is done interesting it's i'm not sure if it's glow in the dark i don't think it is but the blade is not metal the blade has a white look to it so and on the cover of the box it looks like it's glowing so it's possibly supposed to be a magic sword and then you have a shield which just has a simple clip on the back and it can clip onto either hand so you can have it on his right or on his left so you have either side of the shield and then his arms just rotate all the way around there's a simple swivel uh swivel in the head swivel in the legs you can get him to bend like that and move his for the legs forward now the only thing is even though the skirt piece or the waist waist uh piece is a softer pliable material if you were to leave him seated in something like that it would end up sticking into that position over time and you'd have to heat it up or something to re to get it back to normal but he's nicely detailed you can see there's gold detailing on his helmet he's not just all this kind of metallic green kind of a mint metallic mint green he has so it is kind of nice but i did not check if his sword is glow in the dark let's see if i can test that theory out Bear with me a moment. I'm going to see if we can charge it up. Because it doesn't say anything about glow in the dark on the on the box. In fact, I don't think it glows in the dark. No, I think it just looks like it can could glow in the dark. I know Super Seven have done full glow in the dark figures over time. Um, like they have entire figures that glow in the dark in the sense of different figures in fact they have like a godzilla line and then there's like a standard version then there's a glow in dark version of each figure from that godzilla line so there is i know glow in the dark figures from them uh just bring in the gift yankee guy again so you see the scale he does stand a little bit shorter than the gift yankee because of his big weird hairdo but um all in all he's not a bad figure so do I recommend this Super 7 reaction line? It's I'm on the fence about it because as I said I do like the look of these old figures, the old LGN figures, but with NECA doing updated versions of these but in a different scale, they look really cool. I would love to see a scale of DD figures that are highly articulated in this sort of scale. It would be nice and it'd be easier for collectors because they're small, take up less self shelf space. But as they are, they're the only things that I can think of that are available unless you go, as I said, with the hacks, the Vituvian hack stuff and just kind of create your own characters. I know there are some nods to figures in it. There's like a guy that looks a bit like Warduk in the hacks line and there's accessories and parts that you can buy, but they're not officially licensed, if you know what I mean. So there is ways and means around it, but it would be kind of cool to see an official D&D line with a kind of more articulated figures um i'm surprised super seven haven't done an ultimate D, D line i'm assuming they will actually they that's not true they are coming out with a ultimate D, D line but it's based on the cartoon versions of the characters and i would like to see kind of a classic D, &D line hopefully that might come out as well so there you go guys i'll try and wrap this up here because i've been waffling on now for a bit so hopefully you enjoy this video and as always please feel free to like comment and subscribe and let's see if i can hit my 5k mark for the summer i would love to hit 5k subscribers for the summer and a good more viewers so if you can help me do that i would be much appreciated and as always thanks for watching my video and give it a thumbs up cheers guys